Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless. And today's podcast is titled, Don't Rush the Process. So yesterday, my daughter, Yavea, decided that she wanted to eat something different. She chose it on her own. Usually, like um, I've said it before, my daughter actually can't talk. So she can say some things, but she can't really say everything. So either way, she... um, she knows I opened up the freezer. She opened up the freezer. And so I'm thinking she wants popcorn chicken because that's the thing that she always wants. That is like her little thing right about now. Before popcorn chicken, it was chicken nuggets. And then it was sausages before that. But she is very picky, but it's only like certain things that she will eat. So I tried to get her the popcorn chicken. She didn't want popcorn chicken. She wanted um, pizza. All right, cool. But the thing is, she didn't realize how long it takes to make pizza because the pizza wasn't a microwavable pizza. It's pizza that has to go in the oven. So anyway, fast forward. About five minutes later, Yavea comes back into the kitchen and she's motioning for me to open up the oven. I'm like, you can't open up the oven. The pizza isn't done yet. She's used to microwavable things like the chicken nuggets probably take about two minutes at the most and she can eat it right away but the pizza was actually about 15 minutes so she still had another because she waited about like five minutes or whatever and so she had another 10 minutes on the pizza and the thing is a lot of times in life that's how we are We want to rush God. We want to rush situations because we're used to microwavable things. We're used to quick things. Um, I said it before, you know, like you can go to the store nowadays and you actually don't even have to go shop. You can go to Walmart now and basically pick up all your stuff or, you know, have a whole cart pay for it and just go to Walmart and just pick up your groceries. You don't even have to shop. Sometimes they even now, if you want them to, they can deliver your groceries to your house. I remember when I was younger, that was never an option. I wish it was, but you know what I mean? It was never an option. And now you don't even have to go to the store, even with Amazon, especially if you have Amazon Prime, you can get things the next day. You can get things within two days. And we think that that's how our blessings are going to be in life. And it doesn't work out that way. And the thing is, if you get a blessing too early and you're not fully prepared, you will mess it up. I know that a lot of times things have happened in my life. I'm like, oh my God, thank you God for the blessing. And you don't know how you may mess it up. Just say if you get a bonus at work, and you're not really thinking, you're just thinking about the first thing that you want to buy. Because I know, Lord knows, the student loan <laughs> refund checks. And I'm like, now I would be more prepared to get a large sum of money or whatever. But at that time, when I was in college, I was just spending it on frivolous things. And now I have a, a ginormous you know, uh, student loan debt. But hey. But either way, that's how it happens. A lot of times we get blessings and we don't really, and we're not fully prepared for them. We will mess them up. And sometimes I know we feel like we should have been or could have been further along in life. But you have to realize that God has a plan for your life. And wherever you are is where you're meant to be. And a lot of times we just want to rush God. And we want it to be exactly the way how we want it to be and we want it to rush like I said with Yavea she had 10 more minutes on the pizza usually by that time if she was eating um anything else like the popcorn nuggets or whatever they it would only take two minutes so she would have been had the food been eating and everything else so the thing is if I would have gave it to her early she would have been sick If God gives you your blessings when you're not prepared for them, you will mess them up. And not only that, you might mess up yourself. You might mess up someone else's life or anything like that. And he wants what's best for you. 
I know it may not feel easy. I know it's not easy to be in a place where you like, I know what God says. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I know God is going to shower me with blessings. Where are the blessings? And if God gives them to you too early, like I said, you will mess them up. So trust God's process and trust God's timing. Because the worst thing is, is to get the blessing that you've always been wanting and asking for. And then you mess it up and you're like, man, I should have just waited. Or I wish I would have did this or I wish I would have did that. How many times have we done that? So I know that whatever you're going through right now, I know it's not easy. And I know that you just want the process to hurry up. And I know you just want God just to do what he said he was going to do or get you out of this. But look at your situation and see where you can actually grow. Where God, what is God trying to teach you? And not even you see, why don't you ask God and see where, what does he want you to learn in this process? Maybe he just wants to separate you from people so you can see who they truly are or separate them. So you actually see who you are and what you really want to do or just grow you up just a little. So don't rush your process. Know that no matter what or how it looks, God has a plan for your life and it's not over for you. I know you may feel as though it is, or you may look at your situation, but always realize that God can change your situation in an instant. So it's not over for you. The best is yet to come and just hang in there and don't give up and just know no matter what, you are worthy, worth it, and priceless. Until next time, bye.